If this doesn't get you in that partying, cruising type of mood, I don't think anything will because Tokyo Knight's Shoe to the Roki right here is the pinnacle of elegance and just class. Man, I am so excited to get into this review and just check out this custom with you guys here today. It is, of course, from the late Cars Fast as Lightning mobile game, which unfortunately closed down several years ago. But all we can do now is honor its memory by making and reviewing customs of the many exclusive paint jobs that it introduced to the Cars lore. It really did do a lot for the Cars universe by giving us a new character, it expanded on fan favorite characters like the World Grand Prix Racers and Todd Marcus as random as it was at the time. No one even knew that he'd reappear in Cars 3, which is the crazy part. But yeah guys, this custom was done by Shane Cooper. You guys know I've done a bunch of his video game stuff in the past. Most recently, this Carnival, Carlo Veloso, and I'll leave the link for this beautiful girl in the comments, the description below, and the Carnival suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner you might be able to identify some other ones that are upcoming in the past and then we also did Pieter racing off the new character from the game several months ago now and then this guy hot rod Francesco Bernoulli was from last year and he is actually from the cars 2 video game not fast as lightning but today obviously we're gonna focus on Shu it is his time not every world Grand Prix racer was in the game unfortunately but a good handful of them were and gave us some pretty awesome paint jobs that i'm still trying to work my way through you'll probably if this continues i hope it does i would love to do a raul Rule and i think a max chanel maybe even a long gay as well i know they're all in the game but cars like lewis hamilton nigel gearsley rip clutch Gineski, they are not very, very sad. But obviously, this Shoe to the Roki is in a metallic black. It almost looks purple at some angles because of the sparkle in the paint. It is just a beautiful finish. Like right there, black. Flip it on its side there, you can kind of see the purple in it. And that is just what makes this custom so beautiful. He has the typical rims for Shoe to the Roki, which are kind of the grayish silver ones. I've always liked his rims because they're very intricate. Here's his regular version from China. You could just see all the spokes in there. They look a little different because this is a Thailand shoe to the Roki that he used, whereas this one here is a Chinese shoe to the Roki. And then he has all of the little wheel decals, lime. They look like orange or lime slices. <laughs> But I'm sure this has some sort of meaning maybe in Japan. So if you guys know what exactly this emblem is, please let me know. All I know is that it looks awesome and kind of sprinkled on this metallic black just looks perfect. Shane Cooper is even able to get some on the spoiler, which is impressive because that's a separate plastic piece. So are the eyes, in fact. So just a beautiful custom all around. Here's the base, L28A. Man, this is a pretty old Thailand shoot to the Roki L was back in maybe even 2018, 2019. Gosh, makes me really wish that, I don't know. It makes me wish a lot of things. Like I want the game to still be around. It makes me wish they included more racers in the game. It makes me wish Mattel did more with the World Grand Prix racers. Like, I don't know, finishing the Neon Racing line, which obviously Shu was released in the Neon line, but some of them were not, like Francesco, Jeff, Carla, Rip. So there's not a great comparison for this version of shoe because he's never been done in black or anything like that before but we will show him with a couple versions like this neon one which is pretty nice probably one of my favorites from the neon line because he's in like this gunmetal gray and then the red dragon decals just absolutely popping off of him and i love the red wheels that they gave him as well that was a great addition the expression's a little bit different like i don't know why they have the eyelids overlapping or on top of the eye itself that doesn't look amazing i really do like the eyes on this version you know it's also a little different than what we're used to 
Here's your regular version of Shoe. This is a variant from the original release. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but way back in the day, back in 2011 when Shoe was first released, his bumper here, front bumper was white, I think, pretty sure. There were several variants like that, so that's why it's confusing me. You know, you had Jeff Corvette not have the Corvette logo, and then he eventually got the Corvette logo. You had Francesco Brignoli go from a white base to a black base, but I think Shu also had a white front bumper at some point. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm sure you will. I'd probably only have to say that. Also love how Shane Cooper was able to maintain the taillights in there because he doesn't have much going on back here. You know, he doesn't really have much going on anywhere. It's just a really interesting looking car. You don't see anything really like this. It's just a very flat, boxy type car, like a big rectangle with the double stacked spoiler in the back. I have the carbon version of shoe here as well, which looks pretty good. I love his rims as well, with the red trim in there. But overall, this version is really not super duper different from the original because it's still white with the red dragon. Should have given him a new wing, like a different spoiler because they gave quite a few. They gave like half of the carbon racers new spoilers and it would have been awesome to see him with a new one. And then last, I have the silver version of a shoe right here as well. A little bit different finish than the neon one, much lighter. And it always looked off to me that these plastic parts were still in just the flat white, these vents here and the wing. I get it, you know, it's understandable, but it just doesn't look right at all to me. So that's why I love how Shane Cooper just made that spoiler look exactly like the body. Couldn't even tell that's a separate plastic piece, right? So yeah, that is Tokyo Knight's shoe to the Roki. Let's bring in the squad here of other World Grand Prix alternative paint jobs. Wouldn't it be awesome? You know, everyone's talking about, yeah, we have the ice race, we have the carnival race, but what if we had just a freaking race where people, the cars, not the people, could just wear whatever the hell they wanted? Like, okay, you know, I just feel like Carla's like, yeah, I'm just feeling a little purple and blue today, you know, and she's just like, I'm going to go simple. Wouldn't that be awesome? Francesco's like, I'm feeling flames today. You know, I'm going to take Lady McQueen's advice and toss some flames on myself. And then Miguel Camino is just like, I just want to honor my country of Spain. So he just goes all out with the Spain regalia. I just think that would be so cool. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Out of the video game customs I've been reviewing so far, you know, over the last two years now, it's been a little bit more than that. Actually, no, it hasn't. I started reviewing them in like December of 2021, so it hasn't been two years yet. But who is your favorite and who would you like to see made as a custom from the video games? You could go back to some of the original video games like Mater National or Racerama. I mean, there's so much to take from. It really wouldn't be hard to come up with something. You can expect to see a review of Spanish flag Miguel Camino here in the near future. And for those who stayed to the end of the video, this is one that I will be doing very soon as well. Stay gold, DJ. Probably one of the best things that came from the video game, the mobile one. Just, oh my God, it's so cool. Same with that party time wingo I did last year. All right, guys, I'm getting too excited. I will sign off. Thanks as always for watching. Bye now.